Hello there and thanks for joining us. Today of July 2022 and yes, it is yet another beautiful day to bring you the newspaper review right here on that TV. My name is Cyril Aloysius and as usual joining me in the program for today is uh, one of our very popular faces. That's Mr. Victor Siuku. You're very much welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay, so sir, what's your prediction? Good morning to Yes, so cold morning, cold morning, cold morning. As usual, the rains are still, you know, coming down with full force and... Um, we do, we do hope and pray that it, it, it slows down anytime soon. So what's your prediction for um, Nigerians today, given the headlines recently? Okay, well, you know that uh, the whole place is polarized with the Muslim Muslim campaign. Yes. And uh, the, the APC coming out to make, the chairman of the party coming out to make the utterance that uh, the Muslim ticket thing is the will of God. Mm. Uh, it still brings that uh, ugly part of uh, our Nigerian politicians when they try okay. to blame everything on God. Mm. The good, the bad, the ugly goes on God, forgetting that you have your own part to play and you need to take proper responsibility. Sorry, <laughs> I'm talking about the discussion. No, 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 I, I, I think <laughs> we have to save all of this for, for the show proper. All right, but before we go straight to the business, we'll go on a short break. And when we return, we'll take it straight to the headlines in the papers for today. Do stay tuned. Have you registered for your permanent voter's card? I mean, your PVC. There is a Nigeria we all seek, a place where love, peace, security, and unity can reign supreme. Waste no time. We want a country where peace and justice will be the order of the day. Unfortunately, there's a problem. One big challenge this generation has to solve. Our country cries for help every day. We need able and capable hands to lead and direct. These capable hands can be you. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you registered for the ongoing voting process? Don't say your vote does not count. Yes, it does. Have you gotten your PVC? Your apathy towards Nigeria's electioneering process will further inhibit our collective growth and development as a nation. Your refusal to participate and engage will keep us at a standstill. So be intentional. I have my PVC. Your votes, your voice would go a long way in preventing absolute destruction of this country and the future of our children, the hope of tomorrow. The 2023 Nigerian elections are just around the corner. Go out and get heard. Don't forget your vote, your voice. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Okay, you're welcome back from that um, short break. And the first paper we shall begin with is the Vanguard. Let's take a look at the headlines in the Vanguard. Um, this one here says Electricity remittance to MBET by discourse deep 4.6% to 146.5 billion naira that's on page 19 of the vanguard and next we have on page 4 and 24 this one here says asu it's unacceptable to still have schools closed five months after it's unacceptable to still have schools closed five months after that's according to kuka Okay, says Nigeria drifting towards plutocracy. That's on page 24. And next we have Muslim Muslim ticket is worse than another northern president. That's according to Olu Fashon. He says Muslim Muslim ticket is worse than another northern president. Okay, that's on page 16. And on page 8 we have 2023 three days to deadline kwan kwaso so raised parties have no gobber assembly candidates according to INEC on page eight three days to deadline kwan kwaso so raised parties have no gobber assembly candidates that's INEC saying on page eight and on page eleven we have it's time to vote for conscience trust that's according to Peter OB on page eleven says it's time to vote for conscience and trust Peter will be saying on page 11. 
and on page eight we have again we have i am not leaving anything for my children to inherit that's buhari saying on page eight buhari is saying on page eight he says i am not leaving anything for my children to inherit and lastly on vanguard for today we have on page eight as well so it says federal government insists on new boards for benin disco others all right that's the much we can take in the vanguard before we move straight to our next paper mr victor which of the headlines you want to talk about i am not leaving anything for my children uh, <laughs> the gcf are the president of the niger mohammed buhari himself so ah uh, so what do you make of that statement to me it carries no water because um the children are already made as far as i'm concerned mm. because Come to think of it, we know they are la lavishing cash. They are living an exotic life. So him talking about not leaving anything for them does not for me it doesn't really count. What counts for me is that while you are living as the president of Nigeria, what marks are you living with? What legacies? What legacies are you living with? Did you come in as a president and you now impoverished the country the most? Did you come in and you now worsen the security? of the country when you were coming there was so much hope mm. that the state of insecurity will be and, reduced and, and given your 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 military um background. knowledge and background yes. you, you should be able to, to handle at least security yes the country down to, to the education what have you done and do, are you leaving legacies in terms of education what about the manufacturing the productivity of nigeria what mm. has happened what about crime and prosecution what have you done so those are the indices we should be talking about i'm not talking about whether you will leave stuff for the children mm. or not corruption the corruption indices what are you leaving behind mm. nigeria has gone worse we need to, we we can't we can't shy away from that fact okay so you should you should spare us the time from talking about this you should use that time and invest in ways to make this country a better place mm. for the next president come 2023 exactly yeah. because uh, currently there, there are a lot of persons who think that this particular statement from him was uncalled for i mean i mean the country is, is in a state of chaos you know that actually needs uh, serious uh, attention right now and he's talking about him not leaving anything for his children i mean how how, how does that yeah, in any way about that how, 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 how does that in any way change food to the table yes yeah. yeah. i'm not even talking about that how, 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 does, how does that in any way change the fortune of things in the country at the moment it it doesn't it doesn't so uh, according to many this seems to be like uh, one of the most um should i say should i use the word useless um information piece of information ever <laughs> in the news for today okay um which of the headlines before we move straight is, is that is that really, is that really what we want to talk about well the electricity people have come out to say that for about four percent of the resources is will be dipping now mm. mind you fidelity bank goes to even um four point six okay. percent okay we heard from the news the other day fidelity bank is about to absorb some of these uh disco companies there are issues here and there so he should oh my goodness okay down to the end we already know that there is a, an issue of a of a low gas supply mm. okay the national grid have not been uh, um, uh, kept well as in has not been attended to to, the, to this um, highest level yes okay so there are Collapsing many, there are many issues that we are facing in this country aside political uh, po political side of the uh, of the issues we still have terms of manufacturing what is happening the cost of goods are going so high people cannot access uh, the the national electricity okay what about our, our generators we can't even fill our generators because of the cost of diesel that's what we are talking about i'm not talking about uh, whether you are leaving uh, uh, properties and uh, wealth for your children those are not what we are looking at uh, okay. looking out for in, in, in this country all right um, so let's uh, let's just draw the curtain on that um, headline and let's move straight to our next paper which, which is the sun daily sun amongst the headlines in daily sun here we have more trouble for apc over muslim muslim ticket more trouble for apc over muslim muslim ticket on page six of the daily sun and on page four we have flood kills seven in lagos auto crash claims four in undo flood kills seven in lagos auto crash claims four in undo five feared 
killed by herdsmen in Benway. That's on page four. You can get all the details in the Daily Sun. And next we have on page 25. So here it says how 16 passengers from one family died in Lagos boat mishap. That's a very sad one from the Daily Sun. So here it says. Yes, how 16 passengers from one family died in Lagos boat mishap. Uh, that's a sad one. And next, in the Nissan, we have strike. President does not sign collective bargaining agreement. Federal government replies ASU. That's on page 8. And on page... On page 28, we have Governor Udom picks hole in PIA, says it marginalizes Niger Delta. Governor Udom picks hole in PIA, says it marginalizes Niger Delta. That's on page 8. And on page 4, we have police arrest suspected Kuje prison escapee in Ogo. And next, we have N NPC to recruit 3 million for 2023 census and lastly in the Nissan for today we have PVC increase registration centers in Southeast group tells INEC youths march in Lagos demand enrollment says so increase reg registration centers in Southeast group tells INEC youths march in Lagos demand enrollment that's on page 26 of the daily sun okay that's the much we can take in the daily sun so mr victor show the headlines you want to talk about okay let's go hard on uh, the muslim muslim thing okay why i say go hard because of uh, um the national chairman of the apc uh, adamu kema senator adamu kema to say that uh, for the fact that we have muslim muslim ticket that it is the will of god okay mm. and he tried to um uh, reduce the effect on the people as an effect of muslim to be christians okay saying that uh, we should not be playing politics of of religion but i have one thing to tell um the national chairman of of the apc i want to tell you what about the situation whereby we have the christian christian as president and, uh, and right. the vice president okay and what about the situation whereby we also have where the Senate president a is a Christian. And where we have the Federal House of Assembly, the Speaker, Christian. being a Christian. The Deputy Speaker being a Christian. What about in that situation? Well, what about the situation where you have the National Chairman of the ruling party becoming a Christian? Would he, would he, would he still be, be... Would he still be making this utterances yes. that it is the will of God? This is sheer politics. And nothing more than that. Politics of, of, of not caring about the other side. Mm. This is a country, a big country for that matter. If you go by the consensus, it's almost equal numbers of Christians and and, uh, and Muslims that we have in this country. Mm. You can call them minorities. Christians are not minority in, in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And with the growing um, speculation, the growing um, news and heat concerning the fact that this country um, uh, Muslims actually have the nation to, move, to Islamize the nation this sort of uh, headlines actually gives, like this? Yes. actually gives um, should I say more, more truism to such um, uh, claims yes. actually so if you not check the ranks from the president down to the national um, the national working committee of the APC mm. you find out that you just have maybe about two persons out of about 14 to 15 um, uh, leaders mm. in this range I'm telling you, I'm telling you about. Now, who are the two Christians we have in the, in the, in the uh, high echelon of the APC government? We have the VP, who is Osubanjo, and we have Owa Agege, who is the deputy um, uh, um, uh, senate leader. Okay? So we just have two persons. The rest are all Muslim. So when you turn the table, how will Muslims feel? Mm. I bet you the chaos in the country will be multiplied. There will be so much chaos in this country. I know a person might be like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, because I'm trying to cause a, cause a um, uh, opera and, and all mm. that. No, but let's, well, can I help it? Yeah, let's face the fact. Yeah, I have to call it space. There are people out there that wants to, um, uh, that are there attacking Christians. Okay? The prelate of the Methodist Church also mentioned this. People are out there 
try to Islamize Nigeria. That's why on every uh, almost every corner of the country where you see priests, priests are like now um, good minds for these uh, bandits and uh, and miscreants mm. because they get them and they place that same amount of hundred million naira price tag on their heads. These are issues. And when you also check when you are talking about the Muslim Muslim having a okay okay, you don't have to also put aside religion in politics. In the world now, you don't put in the US, same thing. In as much as yes, you we also need to also be talking about um, uh, the real issues, which is about policies and uh, about um, the economy. Mm. But mind you, religion also influences policies. It does. Because if you check, um, for instance, Afghanistan, the Taliban, their religion is influencing their policies. That is why they want women to cover their heads. That is why they they are tolling the the their holy book. So we can't okay, on, on the, the view from their holy book. So we can't book, so, right? so we can't only take away religion you from cannot, politics. You religion. cannot. You cannot. Same thing is happening in the, in the U.S. The abortion right, abortion right. You say no because of one side is uh, more in quotes more feels that they are more christian than the others that's why they are anti um, uh, anti um, uh, abortion uh, um, uh, politicians out there okay. even in the same 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 um will i call it sect or the same religion for instance the christianity in the u.s there are divided lines okay mm. well, well in the presbyterian church in the u.s yes they are christians but they support abortion but the catholic Still, Christians do not support abortion, so you cannot take away religion in politics. In what politics? You can't take it away. Come to think of the Nigerian politics, mm. you can't take it away. So, what are we saying? There should be a balance, a yeah. fair balance, equity. Obviously, obviously, there should be a balance because uh, personally, I, I I really don't think it makes sense. I mean, Nigeria is uh, a religious nation where you have many tribes, so. Come on, should be able to strike balances. And please, they should stop this. Uh, well, Nigerian politics is different from the world. The the the, the fact that when something happens, mm. you you ref refer it to God. Mm. Because he favors you. Actually. Yes. Because he favors you. Yes. So it's it's, it's so bad of us, man. Okay, um, Mr. Victor, thank and you so much. They, will, they, they are not going to review it. The, the APC, even Baba Chair, Baba Chair, the Secretary, former Secretary uh, to the to the President, also came out to lash them. They say, "See, Mr. Ma, it cannot, it cannot be changed." Wow, it is well with them. Yeah, and some persons also say that it is core politics. Please, that for the fact that. Uh, um, uh, Alaji um, uh, Tinubu had to come, Ahmed uh, Bola Tinubu had to come out to say he wants um, the person of uh, Shetima to to be his VP. That if he goes north and selects um, uh, a Christian, okay, from the north, that they will not value, as in the northerners, will not value the Christian. Are you getting that? That's where they are coming out from. Some some a a P a a APC um, uh, um, uh, chieftains are coming out. That see. The North will not regard another Christian, but they will regard another Muslim. So that's the fact. And the APC really needs the block of the North to come vote for them because they feel that the South, um, they have no stronghold in, in, in the South. So, but yeah, politics aside, they should, true, they should also be balanced. How true is that statement? How yeah. true is that statement? Uh, those are permutations. They are permutations. And, uh, we also wait for the 2023 election to yes to the the north actually has the crowd but do you really think that the south doesn't have the crowd as well yeah the south africa but you know the south also is a uh, um, uh, but not compared is, to what, what the north has the south are uh, disadvantaged when it comes to nigerian voting okay let me tell you why okay on election days if you check on the streets you find out that business transactions so business take their business very serious even on election day Okay, so they do not go out to vote. Even our youth, they play football on election days. They see it as time to, it's a public holiday to some persons. Mm. In fact, those days are days some people just relax in their houses, buy fuel for their generators, and party at home. Okay. But in the north, no. They come out, they mobilize and go out and vote. So, you find out that uh, you can't just, uh, you can't just uh, relinquish the fact that the north are more serious. 
the mm -hmm. elections. So, so it's all about the seriousness now? Yes, they are more serious about that. All right, uh, Mr. Victor, let's not um, dwell much on that. Let's go straight to our next and last paper, which is The Nation. And amongst the headlines in The Nation here, we have governors. Muslim, Muslim ticket not against Christians. Muslim, Muslim ticket not against Christians. Okay. And next we have here... 165 naira petrol pump price no longer realistic says marketers 165 naira petrol pump price no longer realistic say marketers okay and the next we have you fixed lecturers wages on literally government tells asu you fixed lecturers wages on literally that's a uh, government telling them as soon and next we have this one on page eight in the nation dangote only african on bloomberg's top 100 rich list dangote only african on bloomberg's top 100 rich list wow okay and next on page five we have four 148 jostling for 28 governorship seats. 448 jostling for 28 governorship seats. That's on page 5. And on page 6 and 5, we have COVID-19 cases rise sharply in July. And lastly, we have worry. I am leaving no inheritance for my children. Okay, we have already talked about that earlier on. So that's the much you can take in the nation. Before we call it a day, Mr. Victor, which are the headlines you want to talk about? Okay. I will talk about um, two things. I'll talk about the election coming this weekend and the petrol issue. Okay, now, as we can see, 165 naira per liter is no longer sustainable. Okay? And also, some persons will be like, why? But also, mind you, in the world now, many countries have uh, increased the, 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 the price of their, of their commodities, as in um, hydro, oh, I call them hydro, petroleum uh, products, okay? Not hydrocarbons petroleum products okay now nigeria yes shouldn't be the same if you ask me okay so what are the issues the issue there is that diesel which is not uh be subsidized okay is currently around 800 from 260 naira in october of last year right now is about 800 naira so mind you the the way we carry our our the way we transport our mm. our petrol okay is through tankers so the cost of renting a tanker has gone high so what does that mean the value of each liter of petrol needs to also go high because of the cost of transporting it has gone high okay wow. so that is why many persons are selling at 180 but now Look, take a look. Where I, where I also fought the government is that there are slow pokes. Why do I call them slow pokes? In fuel stations or in, in, in the decree, it is stated that the value of, of petrol is 165, but they know that it is not realistic. What do you do? You go out and adjust it nationwide. Let us know that this is now the price. But they folded their arms and they are doing nothing about it. So right now, you see other petrol stations selling even as high as 220 naira, and nothing is being done because even these 165 naira they say that they we should sell or the marketer should sell is not visible. Okay. Okay. So now, if man has come out, they are having a meeting. They are having series of series of meetings, and I believe by today or tomorrow. They should finally come out and tell Nigeria that see, it, it has to be sold at this price. Okay. Either one eighty or I don't know the value they have to come out. But mind you, the long term, the long term um, uh, um, uh, uh, solution to all this personal view is that they should remove this subsidy. Okay. The other day at the Federal House of Assembly, they are hearing meetings. They called. The power that be, the NNPC, Ipman, and Co. to come to a round table. Let us even actualize how many millions of liters of petrol do we consume as a nation. Guess what? Guess what? Yeah. They did not show. They did not show up. 
Wow. They did not show up. The person that was supposed to account for these numbers did not show up. What does that what does that tell you? It tells you that there is a whole lot of clog. There is a whole lot of hidden um, uh, details in the number the numbers of uh, the number of uh, of uh, of uh, quantity that we consume as a nation on a daily basis. Mm. And by so doing, if we are also if we are to get these numbers, we should know that okay, this is the amount that we are subsidizing for Nigerians. So that we not be subsidizing, it not be that we are subsidizing for countries around us that these products pass pass through our borders and they go to other countries and you find out that Nigerians are not paying for subsidy in other countries. Okay. But in all, like I said, let them take away this subsidy. It is now so you think, it is uh, too much for the think country. Think subsidy will actually go a long way in uh, bringing things to normalcy? No, it will not bring it to normalcy, my you, But so that we also know the leakages that we have, because these guys are borrowing. Okay. They are going to fund the subsidy. Subsidy. The, the budget of, that, of this year was about two trillion, but now we spent four trillion, and the year hasn't ended. Wow! And mind you, these are loans. Who will pay for these loans? It is you and I. <laughs> okay. So let us find that we should pull it out. And mind you, they should not just pull it out. They should make necessary arrangements to cushion the effect of transportation. Mm. What do they need to do? Both mass transit. Invest in bus mass, bus, bus mass transit. Pull out buses. Let people enter to reduce the the the, the effect of transportation. Okay. Yeah. If this if 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 these things are not being in place, the masses will suffer. So they should do something about that. That's a, that, that's a no more of these subsidies. We are, yes. As far as I'm concerned, I'm tired about it. Let them use that money. Let them use that money for agriculture and and and, and education. We're all tired. Okay. Actually, we're all tired. Okay. Mr. Victor, thank you so much. And for, for the sorry, the sorry, sir. And for the election going on uh, this weekend in Oshun State, the the government has released uh, the police has released twenty one thousand police officers. You know, I told you the other day. Yes, yes. We'll be getting the numbers. Okay, twenty one thousand. Oh, huge number. But the question still now be with this number of police officers, will they be able to um, uh, reduce the effect or re reduce the um, uh, the crime of vote buying mm. come Saturday. Less for me, that is the biggest That's issue. Biggest question, yeah. That is the biggest issue. Yesterday, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out about that. Yesterday, the an an announcement has been made, but the problem still lies on: Will they be able to be on the side of the of true Nigerians, where majority of Nigerians do not like the idea of vote buying? Mm. Will they now go the way of these evil politicians? by collecting money so that they will allow vote buying right. to happen that day so i beg the forces please please for the sake of your children Hold your for the sake of the 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 elect, 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 and the the persons that have um uh, that have labored to this date that we should have a free and fair election they should the power lies on our forces come Saturday to please play their part and do the needful and do the needful so that let the winner be truly the winner and not through vote by yes yes thank you so much Mr. Victor thank you sir the thoughts are highly appreciated we really do appreciate you coming and as for you who has been watching us thank you so much for staying faithful to your screen without you we would not be here well unfortunately this is where we have to call it a wrap on the program for today my name remains Cyril Aloysius and don't forget if you have any suggestions or questions to ask or make you can drop them in the comment section of any of our social media platforms on YouTube we are Tav TV on Instagram we are Tav TV underscore NG on Facebook we are Tav TV and on Twitter we are Tav TV and don't forget to visit www.tavmedia.com for your latest information in every aspect of life. All right, once again, it's a wrap for now. Until we come here again next time, do have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye bye for now.